Welcome to Ramon Time. Today I'm going to try and make this short and sweet, although any reactor watch deserves more than short. This is going to be for the Graviton. I love the case. First off, all reactor watches, they have this nice, this brushed metal finish case. It actually has a magnet, uh, this whole, this is a magnet, and it just sticks on there, and uh, you've got extra links in your instruction manual back here. And uh, to look at the watches, screw this up. Oh no! It's gone! Oh, actually not. But, before I get into the watch, the uh, case is also a drink holder, sports drink holder. You know, you put your drink in there and it keeps you nice and chilled or whatever. Because, remember, Reactor is a high-end sports watch. Very high-end. Their spec is very good. Uh, the tolerances that these things are built to. Now, before I... Uh, I'm going to have to pace myself for this one. Because I have to... I'm just going to take you through it and try and be patient with this camera as it focuses. First things first, let's look at the watch. Front. Very, I'm, I'm generally not a fan of DigiAnim movements, but I gotta say this one is really, really hot. Okay. You can turn the face off and it just looks sick. It's like a black mirror finish underneath those hands. Uh, really really cool so very neat and you can just turn it on just like that just by hitting the button again you've got your EL backlighting see if I can let you see if you can see this here yes you can good there's your backlighting and you've got your standard features let's face it all digital watches are essentially the same you know you've got uh, I believe your tide your dual time zones alarm timer, chronograph, it's all pretty much the same, let's face it, digital watches, there's nothing really, nothing really, uh, unless it's like some kind of a Casio with compass and altimeter and barometer and all that, you know, all standard features here of a digital watch. Waiting for that to refocus, there we go. Now we're going to go into the side. Extremely thick, chunky, it is a, this is a man's watch, you know what I mean? Uh, what can I tell you about the construction? It is very chunky, very heavy, very solid 316L stainless steel. You've got a very heavy, solid stainless steel link bracelet, if it would focus again. Got a lot of weight to it. And Reactor is known for these screw bars that go completely through the lugs. You need an Allen key to take them out. And that's the only way to remove the band. You are not going to break this this band off this watch. Your wrist will rip off before the band comes off. Uh, what more can I say? Yes, you all reactor watches, extremely well made. Of course, you're going to have that screw in case back. There we got a little focus there. Come on, focus for me. Come on, Logitech, you can do it. I'm trying to hold it is still as possible. Okay, well, we got the double lock and deployment clasp, which I was going to get to anyway. Very, very nice deployment class. Very, very nice uh, clicky. Has a nice, you have to actually have to push this fairly hard to click it into place, and it's not going anywhere. I um, am a big fan of reactor watches. I really think, bang for buck, they're incredible. Now, uh, this particular watch, as well as the Heavy Tide watch, um, also a digital is running on a uh, proprietary reactor module. There we go, got it in focus again. Now, the other reactor models run Citizen Miyota movements, extremely reliable, accurate movements from extremely reputable and reliable watch company. So, you're getting pure quality here. You're getting an insane value. I love these watches. This one, I've, I've really, uh, it's just, I just, my only gripe is trying to get it in focus. That's about it. Come on, one more view before I end that video. There we go. Oh, that fingerprint up here is killing me. Anyway, enough of my rambling on. This is the Reactor Graviton Watch.